Hi, this video is going to look at group two from the OCR A-level chemistry specification. We'll look at the oxidation, the undergo, uh, the general reactivity and the trend down the group, uh, how that oxides react with water, and some uses as well. These are all taken straight from the spec. So if we start with our oxidation, what we need to look at is their electron arrangement. Now if I take magnesium to begin with, magnesium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. And that is going to form the Mg2 plus ion. It loses these two electrons from the s orbital. the 3s orbital. So it goes to 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Calcium, just below it, slightly longer electron configuration. When that goes to calcium 2 plus, it's going to lose two electrons from the 4s subshell. So we get these electron arrangements then, or electron configurations for their ions, and they have just lost their S electrons right from the end. And what that happens in the equation, if we take magnesium, it's going to go to magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons. Well, now this is a stable ion that magnesium forms, and all group 2 form 2 plus ions, and they lose 2 electrons, and those Two electrons are coming from this S subshell. Okay, so we've got four of our group two in order here, and as we go down the group they get more reactive. We saw just before that what they're trying to do is lose those two outer electrons, so those two s orbital electrons. In magnesium's case, 3s2, 4s2, 5s2, 6s2. The ones that can do that the easiest, find it easier to remove their electrons, they're going to be uh, more reactive. They're going to lose their electrons easier, so react rings. And if we just compare magnesium, and I'm going to use Bohr's model, just because it's a nice way to demonstrate for barium. Bohr's model here isn't strictly right, but it'll help me demonstrate my point here. So I'll just need another ring. So, two outer electrons on each of these. The first thing we can see in magnesium is the electrons are a lot closer. So as you go down the group, atomic radius increases. So these electrons are attracted to the protons right at the center. These ones are further away. Also should see that shielding increases. So despite barium having more electrons, uh, sorry, protons as well as 56 positives at the start of here compared to 12 protons at the start of here. So if we just looked at the proton number, we think that calcium would probably hold on to its electrons more. But because it's got atomic radius increases, its shielding increases, this outweighs the fact that it's got more protons. So as you go down the group, This atomic radius and shielding increases, and this has more effect than increased number of protons. So the nuclear attraction between these electrons and that nucleus is smaller than the nuclear attraction between these protons and those electrons. Next 
next up. I'm just going to go through what happens when the oxide reacts with water. So here we've got solid magnesium oxide. Water is, in this case, a liquid. And that is going to go to magnesium hydroxide. Remember, two plus ion formed. Hydroxide is a single negative ion, so there's two hydroxides. And I've got one, two oxygens, two oxygens, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, and one magnesium. So that's balanced. And this will be aqueous. So if you were to do this practical, you'd notice this dissolving. And one of the observations you make here is that the solid disappears or that it dissolves. We'd also, if we measured the pH, because we've got hydroxide ions here, then the pH would be above 7. So observations. Solid disappears. Solid to aqueous. pH would be greater than 7. We get an alkali solution. Final part of group 2 I'm going to cover on this is their uses. So we've got a couple of uses. Because of this property of being uh, creating pH above 7, it's used in calcium hydroxide, can be used in agriculture to change pH of soil. Some crops grow better in high pH, some crops grow better in low pH. You can use calcium hydroxide to raise the pH of any soil. And magnesium hydroxide or calcium carbonate are used as antacid. So if you're particularly high pH in your stomach, we can add these in sort of your tablet form, there's lots of different versions, and they stop lower the pH in your stomach and stop any problems you might have. So that's a quick run through of group two.